back in 2007 and I can remember very clearly going upstairs. I had a beautiful home, beautiful family, wanted for nothing, but I had this sense of calling inside of me, deep inside of me, like something was missing. And I was, you know, I, I looked outside myself and there was nothing missing. And I, I began to think, well, what's wrong with me? How can there be something missing? And yet the feeling was very, very deeply planted inside of me. And I, I sat and I just got quiet and I listened and I heard read. And I'm like, okay. And what I found was I, I, I started reading, which I had never done much of, of my life other than I, I read a lot more to my son. And I find myself going back to more spiritual, inspirational type books um, that I had left off many, many, many years ago in, in my days of college. And so I started reading. And I started to hear the words or read the words. You know, I'm not a, um, a spirit, I'm not a human being having a spiritual experience. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. And, and that triggered me to realize that, wow, I needed to open up a lot more and expand the way I thought. And so as I read and read and expanded the way I thought, then I knew it was time to connect with people because you can have a lot of knowledge and a lot of understanding but if you aren't interacting with people on that level then very little growth can go from there. It isn't about the mind. It isn't about bells and whistles and all the things we want to make this big word sound like. It's the connecting with the purity that's already there and it's just waiting. It's just waiting for us to tune in to hear it and feel it.